At an NBA game, Dwayne Wade was pleasantly surprised with what was a very clean no-look pass from LeBron James. Not sure how he did this, but New Zealand rugby player Dan Carter made an incredible magical curved kick, which confused everyone at the game, because at first it seemed that it was going to be a miss. At the 2019-2020 World Darts Championship, history happened when for the first time ever, Fallon Sherrick became the first woman to beat a man at the World Darts Championship, which has been running every year since 1994. Pole vaulting can be a scary sport to try, because if you don't have the skills, the pole would fling you several meters to the side. A crazy moment to watch was when pole vaulter Amran Duplantis broke the pole vault world record with an astonishing height of 6.17 meters, which is around 20 feet. When Ryan Griffin scored a touchdown, let's just say he made a handful celebration. Even though I can't tell if it was done intentionally by LeBron James, during an NBA game, he made an amazing behind-the-back pass to himself through his teammate's leg. A ball boy with some amazing reflexes went kind of viral when he managed to catch a tennis ball mid-air that Roger Federer just casually threw to the side. Canelo Alvarez, who is currently one of the biggest boxers in the world, has this matrix-looking ability of dodging punches with his head movement. It can be quite hard to comprehend how fast F1 cars actually go, so someone in Reddit made a comparison of the speed difference between GT and F1 cars, and the difference is astonishing. Okay, this is probably one of the best plays I've seen in basketball, when there was only one second to go and a player's team was losing by two points. His team had a free throw and he decided to purposefully miss and instead passes himself the ball in order to score a three-pointer. In what was an incredible effort from the goalie, he managed to make four incredible saves in a matter of seconds. During a game of professional ultimate frisbee, it was incredible to watch the trajectory of the disc and how the players managed to pass the disc without actually grabbing it. A Kansas football team decided to use a weird strategy in which one of the players basically camouflaged in the end zone and came out of nowhere. In what probably was one of the most heroic saves in college basketball, a player from Oregon saved his team from a three-pointer in a pretty awesome move. Tennis player Benoit Paré made a perfect backspin during a match. Look at that camera work as well. I'm not sure what's better, the camera work or the shot. Look at that. At the World Archery Youth Championship, the winner, Colombian archer Valentina Acosta, had an incredibly consistent style and won the youth's gold medal. World champion. Nine. There it is. A straight and set there you have win. It, in probably one of the greatest saves from a touchback, the Giants managed to keep the ball out of the end zone in a crazy one-in-a-million way.
A pretty cool but very hard goalie drill is one in which a player throws the ball to a sort of special board that makes the ball bounce in a random direction, which makes for great practice. A ball fake in basketball is making a deceptive movement which throws off the defender's rhythm. A player who is known for doing this in a spectacular fashion is Michael Jordan, which he even makes it look effortless when doing it against the top basketball players in the world. Sometimes a great way to celebrate is by scoring and celebrating in the same motion. Sometimes people can forget how big NBA players actually are. A very bizarre picture to watch is a picture of The Rock next to Shaq and Charles Barkley in which he looks small in comparison and The Rock is 6'5 and 265 pounds. A literal one in a million moment happened when a batter hits the baseball back into the pitching machine. A never-tell-me-the-odds moment happened at a rugby game when one of the players kicked the ball out of play and it landed inside a bin. And then Bailey with that giant size left boot of his hit to the bin! <laughs> now what is it? Did he win a coconut for that? Some golfers are definitely more brave than others. At a golf course, there was a very scary sight of an alligator, which scared one of the golfers. But the other just pushed the alligator in the water. A very cool moment to watch was how Larry Lance Jr. recreated his father's dunk, and he was even wearing the same number. During the past years, footballer Neymar has gained a reputation of doing some very exaggerated dives. And well, at the Wimbledon tournament, one of the tennis players mocked him a little bit after getting hit by the ball. When a soccer player noticed that the goalkeeper takes a bit of time before kicking the ball, the next chance he got, he kinda hid to go unnoticed and come from behind the goalie and take the ball. In what probably was one of the best shots in bowling history, bowler Chris Barnes managed to hit the spare pins and also managed to knock the pin in the alley next to him. A bizarre moment at a bike race happened when one of the bikes just started going by itself and it was kind of funny watching the people chasing it down trying to stop it. A pool player who's been playing pool for years decided to woo her friends by making a pretty cool trick shot in which she makes a break shot and sends all the balls to the pockets. At first I thought the clip was fake but couldn't find any cuts in the video so it's probably legit. A pretty hilarious moment at a football match happened when a squirrel came out of nowhere and started running to the touchdown and actually made it. Yeah, hey, look at him go! The 20! Wes, he might do it! Wes, he's gonna do it! Oh my goodness, Wes, do it! Touchdown! Oh, man! At a high school basket, pole vaulter Olivia McTaggart was about to do her jump. The pole was a bit damaged and snapped. And when these poles snap, they make a very loud sound. And the refs and audience got quite scared. Nice. Oh, pole snap. When you're a volleyball player, you try to get the ball at all costs, even if there's collateral damage as a consequence. In and out shots in basketball aren't that unusual, but isn't something that's expected. A pretty unfortunate in and out shot was one that was supposed to be a buzzer beater, but the ball ended up getting out. 